In this video, I'm going to uh, cover how to use the Crazy Fly firmware repo uh, to build some custom software called a push demo. It's actually a really cool demonstration of Crazy Fly's capabilities. In a previous video, I covered some of the work we've been doing to integrate drone blocks with this drone, communicating over Bluetooth. I've learned uh, a little bit about the uh, Crazy Fly real-time protocol, which is uh, very interesting and fascinating. A lot of it is over my head, but been able to uh, get more familiar, familiar with it as days go by. And in this demonstration, I'm going to show building a custom firmware, getting a little bit more in depth with uh, the hardware and what we'll see that enables the ability to uh, run the push demo are, are two things. The, the first is uh, what we call a flow deck. Crazy Fly calls their, their modules or add-ons decks. So this flow deck has the optical flow sensor and a range finder or distance sensor. That's what allows it to you know, hover over the ground stably and uh, navigate around. So a really cool capability for uh, basic navigation where the drone is constantly uh, moving in, in various directions. And then this uh, multi ranger deck, which you can see has the same uh, sensor as our flow deck in five different directions front, right, left, back, and then up. The crazy fly firmware is uh, open source, which is cool. And there is uh, information on building and flashing. So I'm going to do this on my Ubuntu uh, 22. Laptop just makes it a little bit easier. And I will have my uh, crazy radio, which is uh, plugged in via USB to, to do this. Let's cover a little bit more detail related to the decks. To get in the multi-ranger deck, that's what sits on top of Crazy Fly. And if you look at the specifications, you get to see uh, the, the various sensors uh, used on the deck. It's really just uh, plug and play, which is super cool. And then the flow deck, look at the spec. So we have the optical flow sensor here, which as I demonstrated is sitting right here in the middle of the board. And then the same uh, time of flight or distance sensor as uh, exists on the multi-ranger deck. So being able to plug this beneath the drone and then this on top gives us the ability to de detect distances in almost every direction. Before we get started, let me just point you to this uh, documentation on the BitCraze site that talks about building and flashing. Now, I'm currently on my Ubuntu machine, 22.04 is what I'm running. So I've already installed the uh, necessary dependencies. And then of course, you'll want to uh, clone the repo, which I've already done. And then uh, we'll get into the actual build process. So let me go to the uh, Visual Studio where I've cloned the Crazy Fly firmware and under examples, demos, and then app push demo, this is what we're going to uh, be testing today. We have a source folder with the actual uh, push.c file. It's actually pretty straightforward. I encourage you if you're looking to do any sort of experimentation around uh, customizing firmware, this is a great example. And uh, you'll notice there's a, a hover set point. This thing gets called repeatedly over time. And then uh, based on distances detected from each of the uh, multi-ranger sensors, determines if we go up, down, left, or right, based on uh, which sensor is detecting uh, some sort of object. In this case, it will be my hand. So I'll just make a small customization. You'll see here, we have a, a height set point set to 0 0.2. This is in meters. That's, I believe, roughly uh, eight or nine inches. So I'm going to set it to five, which is about 20 inches. I'll save it. And then going to uh, go into this folder. I'm going to right click on app push demo, open an integrated terminal. So uh, the rest is, is fairly straightforward. I just, based on my dependency, that I installed previously, I'm running uh, the make command. It will obviously uh, pick up the necessary uh, settings and then compile uh, the source code. 
So we'll let this run. It should take no more than, than a minute or two max. Okay, you'll see here the build is completed. I'll just open the build directory. We'll see the necessary uh, bin file and we can move forward with uh, loading this custom firmware onto Crazy Fly. Next step is I have my Crazy Radio. I'm going to go ahead and plug it in. And we're going to put Crazy Fly into uh, bootloader mode. So I'm going to press and hold for three seconds. And what you'll notice is the rear two LEDs will flash. And then on my Ubuntu machine, we're just going to do make C load. You can see here that it's loading the Crazy Fly custom firmware, the CF2.bin, onto the board. You'll notice the front left LED is flashing. And now you'll notice the boot sequence, which tells us that Crazy Fly is now booted up with the new custom firmware. Let's look at the custom firmware in action. Now, one word of caution, Crazy Fly will abruptly take off after it senses the object and it gets removed. You can see here I'm nudging Crazy Fly in each of the directions. It will continue to a fly in the opposite direction of the object being detected. You'll notice how well a crazy fly holds position because of that optical flow deck. And we're really excited about obviously the, the drone blocks integration, but learning more about the custom firmware. You can see I put my hand over the top, nudge it down, and then crazy fly lands. If you don't have Crazy Fly hardware, I encourage you to at least check out the Crazy Fly app, crazyfly-app.droneblocks.io. Play around with the simulator, look at some of the blocks. What's cool is that what is being simulated can actually uh, be done with the real Crazy Fly hardware right here in your browser. So thank you for tuning in and following along. If you have any questions or comments, uh, please feel free to leave them below. And until next time, thanks for watching.